get started. All right, Sapes. Before we get started, you got a bunch of questions. Sure. I gotta get to know you. you gotta know. Boy. Yeah, gotta gotta know where you're at competitively. <laughs> Okay. Um, just b before going over this, that I, I just have a bunch of questions. All right. Um, how long have you been competing? Um, okay, so this is the funny part. Um, I've always been like big into FPS, but I've never like competed in any. And then Halo Infinite came out, and I was like, I want to compete. So this is like the first Halo I've ever really played, and um, I think I've been competing since the first open. And I just joined an org yesterday. Actually, no way! With, with an actual team, yeah. Holy so, shit, what? Yeah, I like, kind of forgot about it. We had like tryouts and stuff, and I completely spaced. We had tryouts yesterday, it was two days ago. And then for some reason, I just did the tryouts and killed it, so. Damn, congrats. You know, it's pretty small though, so it's like, it's, it's fresh. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I mean, just, yeah, congrats and just, you know, yeah, sure, just yeah. joining an org. Bet, dude. Um, have you played any of the open cups, like all of them? Or I know? played a few. I mean, I played as many of them as I could. But um, every team I had was kind of just like a cobbled together, like, yep. last minute team. And oh yeah. Bunch of, it was like diamond six players and just people who like just not enough practice with each other, so we didn't do too well. Yeah. Like as a team, so as soon as we got to an actual team that had been practicing for months with each other it was pretty much game over <laughs> yeah no i i feel that i feel that um have you gone to a land uh no but i want to Ooh, kansas city huh let's get it uh, maybe not kansas i don't know about kansas city but i'd love to try <laughs> we'll see we'll see um so yeah you said you've been playing competitively and what was your first halo uh I mean, I've played every Halo. I think the first one I actually played was Halo 3. Um, but it was mainly just, like, on my brother's Xbox at the time. Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, it, I never took Halo multiplayer serious. So, like, I played Halo 5, but I didn't, like, mess around with it too much. I was more into, like, Call of Duty at the time. So, But I think even back then, I was, like, Onyx ranked and ranked. And I just, like, messed around, really. So, it's, like, my first real Halo, I suppose. Nice. Yeah. And then rank. I haven't checked up on you. What rank are you in this game? What's your like um, normal? Last night I was nineteen oh four. Holy shit! Duo, but I lost one game and went down to like eighteen ninety one. And I took a I took about a week break because I've been grinding since launch. And I played some like Elden Ring for the past week, but I'm kind of tired of that and I'm coming back to just like grind. So. Mechanically, like I'm a little off right now, but I'm just getting back into the, into things, I suppose. I hear you. All right. Uh, so during this, I'm gonna be streaming to you on Discord. I forgot to do that. Sure. Um, so let me know if you can see that. And then I'm also so I'm gonna pull up tack maps. You've seen that on stream, yes? I've seen it, yes. All right. So I might, uh, if I need to draw on the map, I might go to that. Okay. Sounds good. All right, let's get this started. So, it is a holy shit twenty minute game. <laughs> Gotta love oddball in this game. I tried oh, to pick a good one, yeah. no, 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 it's it's solid. So what I usually do, um, and it's gonna last longer than normal, is I speed through the game on like four times speed. Okay. And I can see a lot of your tendencies, uh, just by doing that. So we're gonna okay. start. We're gonna start off with that. We're not gonna talk about uh, anything too much. Just. I, I think I, and I correct me if I'm wrong when you like look at it too. Um. In the first round, I knew I was timing my fights extremely poorly, mm -hmm. um, and I like recognized that. So by the time the second round came around, I tried to time my fights better, and like mechanically, I was just like getting a little like tilted, I suppose, in the first round because you can see in the first round I died a lot, <laughs> like over and over again. Yeah. Um, but maybe that's just me. Maybe it's not what I think it is. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, it could just be you getting checked. It could like. We'll, yeah, we'll, exactly. we'll talk we'll talk about what goes through your head in these games because it's a 20 minute game man it's hard to keep focused the entire time exactly yeah we're not going to talk too much about what's going on okay. uh, besides idle conversation because this is very fast <laughs> so hard to <laughs> so hard to keep keep track of what's going on Okay, so that's interesting. Um, 
that though. Oh god. So the one thing I've noticed so far, yeah, it's seven or so deaths, and I yeah, haven't. I, was, I haven't I was getting really checked by this point. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you take a battle. Uh, nope, still haven't. That you have lost some shields in that you then got your shields back in. That was I think that was the first one. I I like recognized I was make, like making really dumb fight timing yep. stuff going, like and and it was like the first round I was like okay I need to like stop doing this so I think in the second round and third round I like came back and started like playing better but I, this first round is just washed. Oh yeah, for sure. No, I I can I can see it and it it's probably a really good change of pace for you to get uh, like to check back in is to take even longer in your in one of your lives than you like. You're not you're not just doing the same thing and try like hoping that it works. And I see it. I'm not gonna say it's good or bad. It just is because okay. uh, some people have different mechanisms that they use to get checked back in. I guess in a way, and not dying for ten seconds is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, fantastic plays once you get camel sword. I remember that stuff, yeah. There we go, though. Now you're starting to play Halo. Yeah, I'm starting to, I, like I said, that first round was just, I was checked for sure. Yep. Damn. I don't know how I killed that guy, but I do. Most of damage killed that guy. Okay, solid. Nice. Weird. Weird dead there. But we'll go explore all these. This will be fun. This is... Damn. So you like the shock rifle, huh? Like the... Um, yeah. I'm... When I played the game every day, I used to be able to hit most of my shots. I'd say like maybe 60%, 70% of the time. Um, and then... <laughs> After taking a week break and coming back, I realized that I need to work on my aim again, just to, like get back into the flow of things. <laughs> so I was trying to grab it as much as possible, just to kind of get in the habit of using it again. Yeah, I was wondering about that because you just you went straight forward for two the first and third rounds and yeah died instantly both times. Again, I, I'm not one to comment out about starting shots. I know, I think Tyler does the same thing, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't. I don't know I which is best. Opening strats, and I'm not really sure what I think is best. Like, sometimes on Eagle side, I'll spawn and run Turbine, and I'll try to fight for camo by, like, mid-bridge, and, like, try to contest anybody who might be jumping over, like, stacks, or I'll just immediately beeline straight for the uh, shock rifle. Yeah. But um, sometimes I feel like when I do that, like, and just go right for the shock, I kind of miss out on the team fight if my teammates die, like, very quickly, and then I kind of feel like I've wasted, like my life in a way, but the, I don't know. Yep. Alright, yeah, that was very, very informative uh, about, like, about most of your tendencies. I think that, so if I were to put it, you are in these, in these games that I saw, you are leading the charge for your team most of the time. You are, uh, you are, you were dying a little bit much in the first round and you recognized it and you fixed it. There's not, like, there's no reason to harp on everything that I saw because you, like, you get it. Um, I guess there's just a, that bit of mentality of do you question, like, or, or can you think about more about uh, getting your shields, like, just making sure that, like, you get into a fight where you can get your shields back after the fight. Gotcha. Round one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go into the slower. We're gonna turn on outlines to see where the enemies are. This is in there. Any reason that you don't drop your weapon here? First, first death. But uh, norm, like whenever I use the shock, if I hit somebody in the body, I just drop the gun and then continue I on. I, I so when I jumped across there, I this is weird. My brain just like turned off for a second. I didn't. I thought I was gonna clamber on. I suppose. Yeah. 
and then I did a little bunny hop, which I wasn't trying to do. <laughs> yeah. I kind of checked out of the fight at that point because I was thinking to myself, okay, well, I'm half shields. This guy's going to turn around. I've played against Bid Teaches before, and this guy has a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so he... I was like, okay, well, I don't know. I guess I kind of just got checked out of the fight. I was trying to do what I could, but... Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my only thing. It's like, I think you just should have won that fight if you drop your gun. Like, it, you just look so cool when doing it that they kind of get shook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. No. But... All right, so teammate's dead. Let's see. Looking for kills. This seems fine. Sure. And now here, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, leave him. Oh my god, that's so good. Yep, you're just gone. All right. However... Nothing's worked out for you. Is <laughs> no, no. It, I can tell you what's going on in my mind right now, is that I know that I have those two teammates um, pushing BR. Yep. And I'm thinking in my mind, okay, these guys are gonna run in here, and we're gonna get a nice little collapse going. I just yeah. got this guy weak, so this should be an easy cleanup. I didn't realize that the guy I got one shot was sitting batteries though. Yeah. Um, and I walk into this thinking my teammates are just gonna push, but. Um, I don't know what's going on on their side, and I think they're weak. So I end up walking in there and timing my fight very poorly, and I take like a 1v2 or 1v3. Yeah, and so I will talk to you about what's going on here in my head, because when you do this, this is fantastic Halo. Like, you guys got a kill, you guys are collapsing. You want to get to the fight as quickly as possible. And yeah. you, you're kind of doing like things in between, doing good damage, and then you pause here, and it's like, ah, shit. It's like, hold on a second. Things aren't going as well as I thought they would. Um, the guy, the guy at red could be coming up behind you, um, or and uh, yes, it's you guys traded one for one, but they got the kill or they died first, so that means they're going to be spawning first. If things don't look good for you in the next three to five seconds, then you're going to be in trouble. Um, so what I'm thinking here is, as you're turning this corner, you have to. You've got to know that you've also got a man on your back or, you know, he's going to come collapse in a second. So turning this corner, if things aren't free, if things aren't already resolved in what you're doing, then you have to kind of not take the battle. It's like, it's as weirdly as it is. So, so we'll come in here and we'll see how this goes. So you, so you went a little bit slow. And yeah, as the nade comes in, it's like, ah, shit, we're not going anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe, because the guy is going to be, this guy's probably going to be one shot, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's weak. And yeah. I, I feel like I get into this situation a lot where I'm trying to push out a red pipe. So this is a little bit more specific. And sometimes I'll like seize up and think, well, they're throwing nades at this door, but I know I have people coming from the other side. Do I yep. wait or do I go? Do I wait or do I go? And yep. I keep coming back to the same thing, and I'm not really sure what to do in that situation i suppose yep uh, so yeah, i was yeah anyways continue sorry so everything revolves around situations in this game it, like every it, there's no specific answer it's it's all game dependent and i think that i try, kind of described it well like going as you're walking through this it's like it's looking good looking good looking good okay like i didn't kill anyone people got away and my teammate died in the circle and so as the, as this go, like goes longer and longer, it goes from being a good situation for you guys to being a bad one. And so as you turn this corner, like I like the idea of turning the corner, but as soon as like your teammates aren't in front of you shooting, like they're kind of like you can see them through the wall. They're not they're yeah, not going to be here quickly. One's dropping the mingle pit. One's going for the overhang. And it's yeah. Just, yeah. And so as you turn this corner, there's a grenade there. At this point, it's you've got to control your area. And so. I'm sure you've seen my sh like the stream uh, how I talked to Nick. It's it's when you're losing when like you 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 just like make sure that you fight your close range battles. So here, um, as this nade blows up, I'm just sitting here and I'm just okay. waiting for the game to kind of figure itself out because there's nothing that you can like yeah you can't turn and fight this guy generally like it, it takes so long to push through and kill a guy that's doing this unless he suicides which he almost did but that's that's what's going through my head here. We got a we got a whole lot of game to go through all these situations. We don't want to take too long in the first one. Ah. All right, so coming up spawn, teammate's dead. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so. I would also like to say that I'm playing on a hundred ping this game. What the hell? Yeah, so things are a little weird. Yeah. 
All right, so here, pausing, yep. we can, we'll, we'll even take it back a step or two. Let's see. So when you, when you guys got this kill, mm -hmm. the game becomes a little bit easier for you. And so when you, when you do this damage, you get the kill, it's like, okay, you don't, you don't have to do anything. And the way that I would put it is either you do something instantly, like you try to find this guy at elevator if you, you try to clear it or something, or you just sit top blue for like a long time waiting for your team to get into good positions and then figure it out from there. Okay. Now I'm worried that you just jump out from blue here. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried you're going to be like, ooh, there's a ball and maybe I just go get it or something. Ah, one of these, the classic. Oh no. That was, yeah. I mean, it's the timing of the fights. Yeah. So that's that's, that's what we'll go back to. Yep. Like at this point, it's like I, I said you either have to do something instantly at elevator or that you have to, you know, uh, just hold your position for a long time. And then you didn't do something instantly. And then you also took a, like took the fight cross map. So like right. you got to give your team time to be able to collapse on the the, the damage that you do. And since they all just came off spawn, they're kind of playing around the ball that I think is bottom mid or something. Wherever that thing went. And then you're just like, yeah. You're just... As soon as I, in game, as soon as I was here, I was like, I just screwed up big time. Because I knew <laughs> there was a guy top A and I was like, what am I doing right now? <laughs> yeah. And so here, like, as as you got this guy no shield, I'm assuming that that guy's never dying. Like, you tried to get him and he, got, he, he turned the corner. I'm instantly sliding to top blue here. Yeah, you just went for it, he sniped you, all like pretty normal, normal stuff. So your teammates are kind of owning here, and they do get a trade. Unfortunately in theater we can't see where the ball's at. Ball drop. Oh yeah, but, I just noticed Yeah, but we're we we're pretty sure it's long. So this is all okay-ish. I think you kind of want to have a little bit more presence towards ledge first and then check short, but it, this is fine. Yep, very fine. Oh shit! And then you turn around to two people. Me here, as I didn't know two guys were in circle. Yeah. I expected one guy, and I expected yep. him to think, "Oh, he's not gonna challenge me here at half." We have the ball. Yep. No, it's very, very fine. Yep. You turn around and oh shit! Yeah. No. Abs <laughs> absolutely reasonable is what I say about that death. It's like you can be stronger. Like, um, as you say, like your your mechanics might be a little off right now. For sure. And so you, you can be hard on yourself and be like, I should have slid into this battle. And like, I think you can like, fuck, get me out of here. So you can like stand on this ledge and then like slide into it to where you barely peek it and then like slide right back out or something. Um, if you want to be like super ridiculous about your movement, but I, I usually am not. All right. It's coming up spawn, you guys are going for camo together. This is all whatever. I did notice that you went around camo a lot this game. Now, as for myself, so, so yeah, so I forget that I don't talk about this on stream too much. I don't think that camo is like particularly useful in this game. And so like, I've heard you talk about that too, yeah. Yeah, and so dying for it is like, really bad like dying dying on camo spawn is like really bad i'd rather than like maybe use a use a death to then get camo and then use that camo to try and clear us out of whatever setup we're holding um because it just takes so long to use camo and to like even if you help your teammate get camo you're stuck bottom mid for a long time and it everything becomes right. so awkward and like this was like an instance where it kind of worked out like really obviously for you and it, the game just was easy um but we'll, i think later on we'll notice that it's not quite what the fuck was that Oh, yeah. that's, that's that 100 ping. Be, yeah, that's that 100 ping. <laughs> no, that, that was really good though. That was, um, like, you recognize the, the bad situation pretty early. I'm sure, like, in theater, this isn't as, as, no, like, slow. A little, little yeah. Wonky, but for sure. <laughs> 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 no, but that was, that was, like, perfect because you're, you're setting up your collapse with your team. You timed everything perfectly. You guys got a kill. Uh, your teammate did die, but like you're still like you're baiting for you're basically baiting for your teammate, but you're doing it in like a really good way. Yeah. 
I hate that I was standing like in the middle of the map too. Like if I was smart about it, I definitely like and this is like my like my like mechanically thing. Like if I was just in the door a little bit more, I might have been able to like take less damage and get out of that. But... Yeah, but then you do less damage and it's all That's fun. True. So here to your teammates died. Yep. This is the close range battles. So you catch the guy off circle. Let's see. Bro, you're straight. <laughs> thought you watched Sparty a little bit. Yeah, like where, where the crouch is that where the I, I don't want I, I don't mind the crouch at the end. I don't know. I, I'm a jumper at the end, but I I uh, I do like a 50-50 mix up for all other jump or crouch. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> like I said, this first round I'm getting checked. <laughs> oh yeah, there there's the big check right there. The yeah. Ah, you don't red, but... don't give yourself that that out. You you spawn like. No. I could have ran top red. Yeah. yeah that was, that was stupid of me. No, I hear I hear Tyler say that all the time. I spawned a fucking out and grapple. It's like, dude, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I wasn't checked, I would have recognized yeah. that and ran up. But yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, this is all fine. I heard, I heard a guy, I thought he was top red. Yeah, no, it, it did sound weird. He was like sliding for grapple. Yeah, your team's, your team's getting time. This is all really good. You're really focused on your... Like, I love this, that you're really focused on yourself here. I want to go back and really focus on this. Mm -hmm. It's like, you. yes, you're kind of, like, you're kind of helping. You're, you're shooting over here. But this entire time, you're backing up. You're get, you, like, mm -hmm. you're not really, like, going for the kill. You're, you're just seeing if you can get it while backing up, while making sure that you're not going to die on the side. Because that's the most important thing. Yeah, like, I'm trying to use your philosophy in a sense where, like, like, the damage I do, somebody else can, like, potentially clean that up and, like, get the kill for that, and then I'll just play my life. Like, I get damage, and then I try to live. Yep. Like a, yeah, that 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 guy's a dead man. Um, Whether or not he dies, it doesn't matter, because uh, he was just in a terrible spot, and it'll take a long time for him to do anything, if he if he was going to do anything. But the biggest thing is yourself, and, you, you, yeah, you felt the pressure coming. You, you're playing this extremely well. You could, like, you there there is some argument for playing stronger, um, okay. if, if you're formal or lucid, you're, you're just going to sit glass there and you're going to shit on anyone that comes BR to glass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> However, I'm not formal or lucid. I'm not doing that. And, uh, I would say like, you could probably mess around with hanging around here a little bit more, getting ready, getting ready to fall down and getting ready to time your push I, this way. I think in my mind, like, this is going to sound kind of funny. I used to play really like. I used to rely a lot on, like, my mechanics, and then I started, like, watching your tips, and then I started playing a little bit more on, like, the passive side of things, and sometimes I question myself if I should just rely on my mechanics to, like, outskill somebody in a 1v1, or if I should just play the long game and just play my life and, like, just kind of keep, like, playing with them, I suppose. Yeah. But, um... No, I, that question's come up a lot for me, because uh, people are, like, especially on YouTube, people are asking, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm playing too slow, I feel like I'm beating my teammates. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, it, it, yeah, uh, there's no exact uh, fix for it. It's just like over time, you're going to get better at playing yeah. with this mentality that you're going to be able to do more without dying. And that's kind of what I figured, too. I'm not trying to be too hard on myself in those situations because I figured with more time and more experience that as long as I'm actually focusing on it and like trying to learn about it i suppose like i'm gonna be getting better it's just gonna take time yeah and so here what what i talk about is like in oddball you're gonna get 20 to 30 seconds periods and then they're going to take over um part right. most of that's because you guys have a ball player and they're gonna figure out which side you're weak on and you were the weak side and mm -hmm. the worst thing that you could do is die um you could theoretically like i said play stronger and hold your position and maybe you get like 40 to 50 seconds because you play really well um, but you're taking the safe route of instead of getting like 15 seconds, uh, you dying glass and then them collapsing because you, you had a bad death. You're kind of really slowing down their push because they don't know exactly where you're at. They're trying to like gauge. Are you glass? Are you secret? Are you just sitting C plat? And they're, they're really slowing down here. And this is this is really good, like high level play. You're really letting your teammates be in good positions and letting letting them decide the game. In matchmaking, I can't say that's gonna be the best play, um, <laughs> but it's good. It's good practice. It's good. This is really good form, because you like right now, like that guy Glass is being useless, and you're being useful by like not only just like controlling this area, but you also did a little bit of damage going 
going through there. The, your teammates still die, and it's still mm-hmm. kind of terrible. But like, look how much ball time you're racking up here because you haven't done anything. Like you, this <laughs> this is really good. There's some argument here that you could have fallen faster, but we we have 3D like yeah. X-ray vision. This is all fine. Oh, teammate plays the ball. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that that's really good. You guys get 43 seconds of ball time. Um, you guys fell a little bit too easily, and you can blame your teammates a little bit on that, and also a little bit of yourself. So yeah, here, I don't want to be too hard on my teammates. Yeah. Of, like I can decide outcomes just from like playing smart and like my teammates kind of playing off of that. Yeah. And, vice versa too. and so and so here, what I'm doing is I'm 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 just checking repulse every now and then. I know you you think that like, your teammate might be like you know being useful down there, but still like. <laughs> Sometimes what will happen is like you'll you'll come down here and your ball guy is also watching and you guys like you turn the corner as they come to shoot the ball guy and you do a lot of damage to him. Gotcha. Um, but the main thing here is once your teammate dies, I think that you have to keep your shields. If you look, you take like a, a good like three second long battle with someone. I think. Oh my god, your teammate got two kills. Yeah. Yeah. So right here, it's like you should be focused on keeping your shields here. And fighting a close range battle because this is exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, let's take out the situation that your teammate got two kills here, but the but the fact that you guys are in a three v four. So watching this, yeah, he gets he gets two sword kills, and maybe that changes the outcome. Like that changes what you're doing. It's like, all right, well, we just got two kills, so we should be winning this. Um, but yeah, here it's like I see this guy. I shoot him once. Yeah, because like you don't need to do damage to this guy. The second that he takes one shot of damage, he can't push anymore. But the second that you take three shots of damage is the second that like everything is to shit for you. Which it kind of shows here. Like like imagine if you were full shield fighting this guy. Yeah, that would have been a completely different yeah. story here for sure. And I, this is a little bit of like being able to know the outcome, and you you come back and you're able to say like, oh, you should have played the situation better. Um, cause I, I didn't really recognize that at, at first. I was like, oh, you know, everything, you, you, you're playing it solid. Everything's fine. I, I know in my brain, like I saw my teammate get two kills and I was like, okay, well this guy's just going to stagger his way into the fight. He's probably an easy cleanup. And then a guy comes through the blue pipes and I wasn't tracking the kill feed well enough to like recognize that. And I'm like, oh, well shit. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it, it's definitely a tough situation to play. Right, so here, very fine. This this can be okay. Um, the biggest thing is just live. What you do? Nice. And yeah, you 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 time you're trying to time your push here well with your teammates. And if you look across to see where your teammates are at, your teammates are not ready to push. Right. Now, I'm not saying that you can't go red short here. It's just that you cannot die here. Okay. Um, which it looks like you don't based on the theater, but you know we'll we'll try not to look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, perfect. Like, yeah, you just get hit by an AD live. You, you're just like waiting for your teammates to get in good positions. Your teammates get a kill. It's like maybe, maybe see if you can do something with what you guy goes for shock and oh my god, it just becomes free. Everything's now, becoming sure a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of shock, and I know his shot. And I'm like, okay, I gotta do this really smart. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. I think that you can. Uh, fuck, how do I put this? So. Yes, when someone has a shock and you don't want to get shit on, it's like you do want to play like this, but at the same time, you do have to lean quick towards getting the kill a little bit quicker, I guess. Yeah. Nah, nah, this is fine. I like. I, I tried to get the like kill quickly because I like, like I understand that like getting the kills fast and like just doing it all quickly so that way like there's no weird stuff happening because like the longer I'm in a fight, the more weird like things are gonna get. Yeah. Um. But honestly, like he had good movement, and every time I took a challenge, he would just pop back into cover. So I kind of felt, and like I, I kind of felt like I just needed to jump out and just get that kill like quickly because I knew he had a shock, and if I left him alive, like, like I don't know what he's gonna do. I yep. Suppose, but... Yeah. No, everything seems fine. Oh, and then what is that? Yeah. Nah. All right. <laughs> I have a. I I don't have many rules about this game. I have one rule for for the most part. I, oh, I say play play the ball as late as you can. That's one rule. All right, but one rule I have is if you take two seconds to get your shields back and you haven't gotten shot, 
you do not move until you get your shields back. I know. <laughs> and I know this is like, this is this is gonna be one of those like it's an oddball game. It's it's three rounds and you're doing okay <laughs> and you're like a little tilted, doing okay. It's like yeah. Uh, there's there's a bunch of excuses. I I I know about all of them playing matchmaking. I think what I thought. I think he was. I thought this guy was shooting me from like mangler or something or like maybe needles and I. I don't know what I was doing here. <laughs> I think in my mind I'm like I got the shock. I'm gonna shit on this guy maybe. So this is stupid. Enemy has. Oh, your voice is quiet. Apparently, one second. Just, just, a, just a little bit. I'll turn you, I'll turn you up a little bit, and I'll turn down the game sound a little bit. Oh God, oh God, hold on a second. I can't. Wait. Gotta pause. Gotta, you gotta pull down the thing. You guys can't see. Yeah, there we go. All right, should be better now. Okay, cool. All right. So that was everything that I thought about that. Yeah, you, you took two seconds to get your shields back, and you're just like, ah, I'm good. No. I'm good to just die. So here, like, this is a situation that's, like, opposite of what I was saying. It's like, you haven't taken two seconds to get your shields back, so I like this, like, jiggle challenge thing. Like, I don't mind you dying here. This is dumb. Like, There's nothing that you can do. Um, but that's not the time to, like, AFK there and get your shields back. So. Alright, so you're coming off spawn. You're the last guy to come off spawn. Your teammate does die. And so here it's the qu like I I can feel you saying like mm, I don't know it's like I I want to yeah, help. This, this, this is what I was saying like I feel yeah like we won this game but I wasn't really sure like about what I was doing. It kind of just felt like we won the game just because I suppose and like I wasn't yeah. really sure what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's 15 seconds left in the ball with the ball. Like this is a fine like see if you <laughs> see if you can do something. Normally I would tell you to like fuck it your team your teammate's dead. Your team, because your your first guy died, your second guy died, I guess, and your your teammates going to elevator, your teammates also dead. Um, but there's 15 seconds left. You guys got to make a play. You guys got to see if something happens, and you you died as over. Yeah. All very reasonable, and I'm assuming that the the round just ends here. Yeah, at this point, yeah. I was like whatever the round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like you you saw you saw it like at the start. You like you just checked. Um. Yeah. I, I don't. By this round, I regain. But, yeah, I, I don't want to say <laughs> it's dumb. It's dumb because like I'm I'm the same like I'm kind of the same way and my team's kind of the same way. We're we have a 13 game scrim. Like oh, we are going to get checked. Uh, yep. <laughs> but like you're playing matchmaking. You played for two to three hours, I'm guessing, during this time. Like you are going to get checked, especially as as this goes later. But right. the more that you are able to use that as an excuse, the like the less you're improving, the, the less you're getting. Better. Yeah, I, I I mean like I'm human, so I'll, I'll make yeah. excuses. But I recognize that I'm making excuses, and I try not to like blame any one thing for like like my, my poor play. Like I'm not sitting here blaming my teammates for like my poor play. I suppose mm -hmm. like, that's not what I try to do. Cause like I recognize like I'm not gonna get better if I put everything off and say, well, the only reason I'm doing bad is because. Like for example, they have a mangler or something. Like like them having a mangler isn't an excuse for a poor play. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, that's my mentality, I suppose. All incoming. A win is in reach, All right, so I'm not uh very aware on what the, what, what you can do with starting shots here. Like I've never gone for him before. Actually, I did, and we all died once. <laughs> I've actually never done that starting strat until that game. That was the first time I've ever done it. Seems pretty good. Yes, I hope so. All right. So yeah, this Over is. Here, I was thinking. Yeah, this is all reasonable. Ryan would say, Somebody's gonna walk out in the open here. I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it's just like see if you can push. Yeah, this is this is so fucking good. This is so fucking good. Hold on a second. We gotta we gotta highlight this because this doesn't happen very often. So if you push in a blue here, you're like, when does this guy spawn or get over there? Wow, that was a long time. So you, yeah, you push in a blue there and you kind of like take a 1v1. But because you took time to wait for your teammates to get in good positions, like now you push in a blue, like the guy shoots and now this guy's fucking dead. Yeah. And it's like, you didn't do anything. You didn't like, <laughs> like, right? Like, but at the same time, you timed your push really fucking well. And now it's a free kill. And like, it might be a free double if you just like, yeah. If you play the situation right, oh, this is so good. Didn't repeat, perfect, very fucking good. Holy shit. 
There's so much to talk about in this. Holy fucking pit tapes. That was so good. That was so good, but they, like, it looked ass. It looked very ass, right? I, it felt ass when yeah. I was doing it, but it came out on top. So. Yeah, so there's so many good things about this. You took a point of damage to someone pretty early on here. Yeah, you took points, points of good damage across map. You know this guy didn't get weak. You know you want to help a little bit. And the second that your teammate turns the corner and he's okay, you're you're playing the chokehold. And this is something that like just people just don't get right now. Is once this guy turns the corner, it's a two it's a two v one. But if you turn the corner, you're down a shot to this guy. And he can right. kill both of you. And it it seems obvious right now. Like it seems like super simple as we go over in theater, but to be able to recognize this in game is huge. I think, like, in my thought, too, is, like, I don't know how much, like, damage my teammate did there to this guy. So, like, if I were to ego chow that, like, there could be two people around the corner for all I know. Or this guy could have no damage and I'm half shields and then I would just be immediately dead. Like, I wasn't really necessarily thinking about it being a choke point. I mean, I will now because, like, that kind of... <laughs> well, my mind a little bit, but I think you, like, like saw that your teammate didn't do any damage. Like, this whole time you didn't, you didn't shoot or do anything. So, I think, like, like yeah, read, yeah, like, no, in yeah, in game, I'm sure you 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 knew it, like, either subconsciously or subconsciously, but it like must be subconsciously, yeah. Then, yeah. But yeah, then just being able to hold this corner, this is so fucking good. You take damage, you, you turn the corner again, like that mechanic is actually not easy at all because you like this. People get stuck in this wall all the time, so this, the fact that you take a step to the side and then back up, and all of this perfectly, even on a hundred ping, like you're still doing this perfectly. And then he starts shooting at your teammates, and so then you repeat. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. And it's like, it's such a small thing. It's like, you you guys want a 2v2 in blue. It's like, cool, dude. But like, there's, there's so much going on right there. Like, so many micro plays going on there. Yep, perfect play again. Like, you take a bunch of damage, you repeat once you hear shots going off. This is all so fantastic. Yep. My only thing here is that you guys killed a shit ton of people. You have to make a move towards the ball. I don't know where it's at right now. I think it's by batteries, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, right there. It's by blue box. There, yeah, right? so it's this. That's gonna be tough to get to. So I guess yeah. I guess less so. Um, but I still like want you to make some sort of just see if you can towards okay. the ball, and see see if it's free, see if it was possible because you did you did all of that, but you you're not gonna score any points because it, it just didn't work out. But it will eventually. Right. Like you guys are all setting up around it. This is all fantastic. I'm guessing you're going to grab the ball there, but Timmy gets it. This is all fantastic. Yeah, right yeah. Red, yeah, which is solid. This is all solid. This is getting more bad, and you're going to feel the I pressure. Didn't, I, I didn't want to take that fight, and I recognize. I'm like, why am I taking this fight? I don't yep. want to take any damage, and I get punished for it. Woo! Here, here it is. Yeah. Here it is. Here it is. This is the play. This is the play that will fix everything. <laughs> right? It's the cardinal fucking sin. My one rule. You took damage here across map. And then you yep. didn't take damage for two seconds. And then the guy pushes in. Like, you yep. have to get your shields back here. Yeah. Like, fuck your ball guy. Fuck trying to get first shots. Fuck trying to hold a choke point. Like, you get your shields back here every single time. And then you're dead because you didn't. Nice. Yep. Nice little harpoon in the middle of that. I tried to do, like, a bunny hop. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Yeah. No, that was, that, was a, that was a good attempt. But, like... Like no matter how good your mechanics are, if you mess up on a macro play like that, that like the fight just becomes impossible for you guys to win. Right. Yeah. You, if you just get your shields back there, you win that fight, and like you guys get another 20, 30 seconds of ball time. Yeah. Sure. I mean, fine. Very fine. We. Wow. So I can, I can see the 100 ping, so I'm not going to be harp on the mechanics at all a little bit. Like, you're playing a little I, I, slow. I, I think I kind of liked it almost because, it, like, I'm not relying on my shot being perfect because I know I'm on 100 ping. So yep. I'm trying to think more about, like, like taking advantages in, like, fights that I know I can win. Yep. So. No, you're doing... Like yeah, like like I said, like there's there's some mechanics where you're like not reacting fast enough to some of the things that you see, uh, but you're reacting in time. So like it's still within a reasonable amount of time, and we can we can see like the the pings affecting you, but not enough for it to make you play bad. And then this is all just playing itself out. This is all just you know dumb Halo, Uga, Uga Booga right here. <laughs> I did try to get my shields back here. No, yeah, this this is fine. 
Yep, and then you just, like, you just didn't peek. You just, <laughs> you just <laughs> get, get your shields back in, you know? The game just plays itself out. Ah, uh, it's yeah. like, it's, ah, uh, it, it, so what I say about this is that having one or two of these in a game, whatever, <laughs> right? Yeah. If you notice you're having more than one or two of these a game, you have to really seriously like rethink what you're doing because this will happen, but it happens more often to like, I like it happens less often as as you go up the rank it's like yes and no <laughs> is what i what i'm gonna say about that all right so here we go this is gonna be the true test i think do you slow the game down they get camo and i mean they basically like this is what i say about camo like this guy just dies because they got camo and now everything's right, gonna be yeah. shit for the camo guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, and you guys even yeah, killed the camo. General, we have a general idea of what yeah. the camo is, too, so... Yeah. yeah. My only issue here is, like, the balls across the map from you guys, but... I can't say that's generally that you should have played anything wrong. Perfect. Perfect. And and here's... I just, like... Because I, I brought out the Cardinal rule in this game, like, I have to bring out the counterpoints to it. It's... After two seconds of not getting shot, you can't get shot. But I'm not saying don't ever rechallenge or don't like make sure that you get your shields back every time you take damage. This is the perfect like counter example of it. You took damage, you make sure to control that area, and then as soon as he turns the corner, you're not doing any more damage. You're about to get your shields back. You get your shields back. Perfect. It's it like it's so dumb. It's so just Neanderthal thinking. It's it's get your shields back, but it's just. Right. It's so important, I, macro style. Since I've started, like, I'm not perfect at it, but like since I have started like listening to your reasoning about it and like behind the curls and stuff, and just like getting your shields back, playing your life, like I've gotten better at it, and I've noticed a lot of things just happen because of it. <laughs> right? Just so, it like, just it, happens. It, it feels really weird when you're just sitting there doing nothing, but then suddenly just things happen. So. Yep. People just walk into you and die. Exactly. So whatever here, like <laughs> this is this is this is matchmaking at its finest. It's like, yeah, what the fuck is happening? I went into blue, no one is in blue. I turn the corner, like I turn back, and apparently my two teammates are in red, and my ball guys sitting there, like, like that. Right here, you're like, okay, my teammates are in good spots to hold C plat. I'm gonna go into blue and control it. You go into blue and control it. It's like, hold on a fucking second, and <laughs> everyone go. And this is this is fine. You went, you controlled the like one side, um. So so how we talked about it is like a three one, or I guess in this one like a two, a two a ball guy and a one. So the two people were to the left there, C flat side, and you're blue, and you control your blue with the sword. Absolutely fine play here. Interesting, interesting play by that guy. And so here, yep, the ball's still there. I was gonna say if the ball's not there, I don't want you going this way, but the ball's still there. This is all perfectly fine. What I really liked about this is that you guys are taking your like you're taking your time. You're waiting for your team to get into good positions. You're kind of letting your your opponents get into good positions as well because you guys are taking a little bit too long. But that's not your fault. Like you're you're ready to go. Your team just wasn't. And then you get sniped. It's again like a lot of these plays are just like it's 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 tough because it's matchmaking and you kind of like you want to output damage, but at the same time it's like. The ball silo. <laughs> in, in my mind, and I think exactly what happened happened. Like I'm like, okay, well, the fight's going on for a long time now. Um, I know we're both weak. It's only a matter of time before another couple guys just walk in behind us. So I'm like, yeah. I need to move and go somewhere different. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. And, then, and yeah, look, watching it first yeah, person, it's all yeah. that's all fun. Like normally, you get shot once there by a BR, but you just get sniped and you're weak. I like that. I like, I like the idea behind the play. Alright, so here, here is the setup, the collapse. How do you guys do it? Yep. This is a little confident for my liking, but makes it makes sense. And free kill, very solidly played. Your teammates are all dying. You're getting map control off of the fact that they like pushed in and died for their positioning. You win a one v one. Very cool. Oh, look at you. Oh, that is so smooth. 
It's so smooth. And then, sure, you know. Yeah. You can, you, you can, like, blame yourself for running into a wall for a second. That's why you ended up dying. But, like, that's all stuff that, I, like, you're aware yeah. of. I, I didn't recognize them spawning at A. So yeah. I really was not expecting to get shot in my bag. Yeah. Deadly so, precision. Yeah. One minute remaining. So yeah, uh, I guess the one thing that I do want to talk about more is like I need you playing around the ball a little bit more. Okay. I don't know wait, what the fuck you're doing here. Oh, I guess Camel was coming up. Camel was about to come up, and yeah, so yeah, so the ball's down, batteries, and I guess you're playing around Camel. But here, like even even with Camel coming up, like I'm going through long haul with my teammates. My teammates are at pipes. I'm gonna have two guys like around glass so that one person will fight and one person gets the ball if possible. Just, okay. I know there's like some considerations where there's a minute left in the round, so maybe you guys just play for time. Maybe you guys like do some like some other reasoning as to why you guys don't get the ball, but you guys get the ball anyway. And here you're just like not playing around it because you're trying to play for camo, and now you're just fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I didn't notice that. It, like, I did notice that you died on camo a couple of times. I didn't realize how bad it looked from your screen. Uh, but that that is one of the instances. In my mind, I don't know why, I was thinking, no way they're going to spawn fast enough for them to challenge Gamo, and they all spawn C-flat. Yeah. <laughs> ball dropped. Killing spree. Hold this. We have the ball. So yeah, here, here's another instance of, like, your ball guy circle, you should be moving across the map faster towards, okay. like, the ball. So that is, that is my one, one gripe so far from watching these. Okay. All right. I mean, sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah. that seemed like a check battle for both of you. <laughs> it's like that's that's one of those where you lock eyes with them and you're like, we're doing this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I've had enough of you. Mm -hmm. Ah, that type of life ain't for me, but I know it happens to everyone. I'm trying to get out of the habit of it. I really am, but uh, sometimes it gets me. So this is solidly timed. Very easy, and this should be the round. Yep, control your area. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> All right. I, I don't know what I was doing there. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped. I fortunately stopped. Yeah. So the only thing I say here is you're on frag grenades. You fucking just use the. Yeah, it's I, four I nades. That. Yeah, I was like, I hope nobody comes in and shoots these nades right under my. Feet. <laughs> yeah, I always stand in front of the nades so that they don't shoot them in the knife four nades if needed. Gotcha. That is my only extra thing. Wow, we are zooming through this game. We've got this in the bag, eh? And Mid, being a good player, recognize, hey, this guy likes to go for the shock rifle. Yeah, go challenge him it just there. goes glass the shock rifle. I don't know. Yep. What the hell is that? Um, So when you're in a melee battle here and you're down the first whatever, I, I nade. I... I know from other games, like, BL being is, like, terrible. But in this game, you don't actually, like, lose any time if you instantly grenade here. Gotcha. So, like, instantly grenade just in case he punches you back. And then, like, if everything ends up working out, like, you still shoot at the same exact time. Gotcha. Yeah, just leave, leave an aid there for him. Perfect. Ooh, that was camel guy, right? Yes, it was. I was actually yeah. surprised that Cameron grabbed the ball yep. and just gave himself up. So. Uh, Alright, this is interesting. Usually, and I'm not saying it's the right play there, but like when, when you get that kill, like I just go through the center of the map. I just like get there as quickly as possible, like to like get towards the ball, you know. But I don't mind this. It's just like you got a pick and then you guys didn't use it at all. So, I mean, like, when when should I recognize, like, maybe pushing to the middle of the map isn't a terrible play? Because a lot of the time, like, I'm trying to rotate around the map with my back against the wall, yep. so to speak, so that way, like, I'm not getting flanked. And a lot of the times, I feel as if I push mid-bridge there into Turbine, I usually just end up getting crossed, and I usually just get cleaned up by whoever's hiding, like, pipes or bat ledge, and I just, it just seems to never really work out. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, how I would respond to it is, you guys got a free pick? Um, you guys do have a guy coming up spawn, so that makes it a little bit less, like, normal. But sure. it takes so long for you to go anywhere from here that, like, to get to the ball that your advantage becomes not an advantage. Um, gotcha. I would say here, 
like you guys get the free kill. It's you want to, and and they have a ball guy. Is like is why the situation changes in my head. It's you want to get into a battle as quick as you can, and then live it preferably. Like you're not trying to fight someone. You're just trying to uh, make the game easier for your team on finding out where they're at. Like there, once you go once you go from blue to midbridge, like your your teammate follows you out. And like th this guy can go wherever the hell he goes, but the idea is like you want to get up on the map quickly and then use that map control to kill the rest of them. But here, like you're going around the circle, which, at, like generally, I love. Like I, I like this is a great play. But it comes back to the idea that I have, um, that I've talked about reasonably. It's set set up for a team fight and then team fight. Okay. Right. And so. When you guys don't have a kill, like this is the way that you want to go around the map because you're setting yourself up to like get some map control. You're kind of pushing out things, and then eventually a team fight will happen, and then you'll, you know, fight the team fight, which you've done a fantastic job of this game. But then like you guys going around the side of the map here means like oh you guys took your time to get this kill, but you're not going to get anything off of it. However, like it's all fine. <laughs> so like. Like, I can't, like, I started that off with saying, like, I can't say that you're wrong on this play because I've noticed right. that, like, I get that kill, I push through the middle of the map, and it's like, okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck, I mean, like, I'm like, stuck circle. Like, an actual team environment where we're all communicating, like, I feel like I'd be, like, much more confident as long as we're all talking about, okay, well, let's just go push now. But, like, in matchmaking, I'm like, if I push this, I mean, like you said, like, teammate might follow, but, like, who knows if he's going to actually <laughs> commit to the follow or commit yeah. to the team fight, too. So. Yeah, just generally, when you get that kill and they have a guy holding the ball, like, you'll get into an engagement in the next five seconds, and then okay. either your teammate's there or they're not, but you shouldn't die in that enga engagement in general. Holy, holy crap, look at them. Ten gifted subs. Holy shit. Begin, kid. Thanks for the ten gifted, man. And welcome, everyone else. Welcome, everyone. Don't want to focus too much on the chat. We got we got a we got a very focused uh, sapes here, <laughs> but much appreciated, man. All right, go back and watch this slowly, because I think that this is an instance of you pushing before you're ready, before your team's ready. However, I want to pre like I want to say before this starts, you have done an excellent job of like making sure that you time your pushes really well. But look, one of your teammates is dead. They're four alive. A second guy on your team is dead. The fuck are you doing here? <laughs> I, I don't know. I really have no idea. Now, I will come back and say it's matchmaking. Two of your teammates just died. A third guy's one shot. It's fuck it. I'm going to go get a trade. Like, I, like, I get it. If we're going to be super critical, it's like, the fuck is this? But uh, we don't, like, it's it's matchmaking. Like, this situation is just, like, dumb. It's like, you're, this is one of yeah. the che those check spots. I, except you play like extremely well, everything just works out for you. This is like what just happened. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have, like, against an actual. Team, yeah. Yeah. What the hell? And then you get shit on. Yeah. Hundred big melees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that. I. I mean, everything after what I was saying was perfect. Like, you get your shields back here. You guys get his kill circle side. I assume like an elevator does. Yep. And then it's like, okay, I'm giving my my team three, four seconds. I see some damage going in. I'm fucking in, boys. Uh, and then what? Like, he's like, you turn around. It's like I, I feel like uh, I should have got that kill, but because this is Halo and melees are weird in Halo right now. Yeah. Yeah, but hey. Yeah, so like, so we go we go back and we we never focus on blank melees or like a hundred ping melees or anything like that. We're, we're we're focused on the timing of the push, and it looked really good from your screen. <laughs> It looked like your team should be pushing across the center of the map because you guys got a kill, you're in good positions, and then they're just like, where the hell did they go? <laughs> they're just sitting Mangler, sitting C flat. And I think Dotus did the thing I did where he takes the long way around. Yeah. It's taking a really long time to like, get into the team fight. But yep. Like... Yeah, so, boom. I get it. Um, and I think that the play was solid, and if you get that kill, you get out, and everything becomes pretty reasonable for you. Okay. So, I, I like the play. Like, after the first part. Where you suicided but didn't die. <laughs> and this should be free for you guys. You guys got damage. You guys are going. Very good. Should know guys around glass. Perfect. When that guy turns the corner, I'm thinking to turn around here. So okay. in a fours game, I'm definitely saying, fuck that guy. We're going C plat. We're going to go play the ball. We're going to get 20 seconds here, and then we're going to play the ball. I want to say I do that, but I think I just do it. Yeah, it, like probably. Because this guy should never die, like, it'll take so long to get there, and then 
you're yeah, gonna be collapsed on by this I'm happens. I'm gonna jump up there because I mean, in my mind, like there could be two guys up there for all I yeah. know. Yeah, and so like, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You you end up doing the exact push that we're talking about. It's just tough to communicate to. Oh Jesus, that guy's fast. It's tough to communicate <laughs> to your team like this is the where you want to bring the ball to in this spot. Right. But it looks like you guys play as if you guys are a professional Halo team because that was a pretty smooth transition. And this is perfect Halo. Like this is absolutely fine. That death is beautiful. Um. One of the things that I try to talk about, and this is more for fours, a little bit for this game, uh, but when you're able to play the ball like this, you want the people who aren't the ball guy to die first. You get more time, and you get to spawn up by the time the ball's played. And so we'll watch this. Like, there's nothing that you can do that, like, living specifically helps with. Here. Like, if you just, like, live C-plat, you're going to get collapsed on and die, and, you know, everything is going to get shit. Uh, but I assume that you guys played the ball there. This is just fantastic. Like they're they're all collapsing on where I assume the ball is at. I just yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, perfect perfect gameplay here. I mean you guys got a little bit less time than I would like, but like that's not on you. You still played where the where's the where the hold the oh that's just rough. Ooh, interesting. Where did he? Yeah? No, he had a sword. He had a sword and got repulsed. <laughs> sure, you know. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I get it. You want a sword. We're not here to talk about him, though. But yeah, that, that was that was really well played. Yeah, I like this. Taking your time. Sure. You know, just snipe him in the face, dude. Sure. And now it's run! <laughs> get across the map before yeah. your teammates spawn. I don't like you taking time, but whatever. So, yeah, so it looks like they played the ball. The second that they play the ball here, you should be turning around. Cause there's nothing like this kill doesn't matter like i know you kind of want to help your team but like the winner of that battle it's like the winner of that battle gets like a a, a bad person okay. you know like it's like it's, it's, congrats there's, there's really nothing beneficial to yeah okay. and so i want you to get like if you were like red br here and you guys got a kill you can get the ball out quickly or you can support your teammate who gets the ball out quickly but like being here you can't really like help that ele like shoot the elevator guys there's not much you're doing here so that's, that that is the other thing. When the ball when the ball plays like on live fire on this map, and I guess you can't really play it on the streets, but when the ball plays, like you just say fuck it, we're gonna go play tug of war on the ball. Okay. Uh, for the most part, if you uh, the way I, the way I phrase it is, if you aren't actively in a battle, then then you go towards the ball. But if you're if you're already in a battle, then cheer. It's one of those moments where I feel like I'm doing nothing. Uh -huh. No, I feel it. I, I hate the shock rifle. I think it's a terrible like I gun. I feel like I should be doing more than just sitting there, but I, I don't know. It's... I think that you weren't quite sure of the pressure that was coming on your right side here. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking about That's why I'm like actually... like Normally I'd be around the corner, but I know that... Like, I don't think I have a teammate on C. Yeah. So I'm thinking, where are they coming from? I know there's two guys in Turbine at least. I saw yep. one, I saw another guy spawn. Yep. I'm thinking, where are these other two guys? Yeah. And so like this is fine, and I think my favorite part about this is that you are able to be seen from both spots Um, when you stand right here, that you yeah. can cut either angle really fast. If you get collapsed on and, and they're, they're like... You say... You end up getting double shotted standing in this spot. That's unreasonably unlucky. But standing right, standing right in this spot that you're at, makes you cut the angle as soon as you get shot. So this guy turns the corner, you shoot, and like you take a little bit extra damage because you're on a hundred ping. But like you're in a really great situation. I don't like the reach hello, but whatever. I, people use shock rifle differently. I, <laughs> I'm just challenging. Yeah. You. <laughs> yeah, and so <clears throat> I can't. It's a sh the shock rifle is weird in this game that some people are unreasonably good at it and I yep. I hate them I hate them like I just <laughs> like they just don't like the, their halo is just so like offbeat for me um, <laughs> that I can't say that, like th that you you go challenging a little bit like was wrong however like I'm not doing it like I would I would shoot the first shot yeah maybe see if I can shoot a second but like as soon as I didn't get shot for a second I would be getting my shields and making sure I didn't die from the side. And this is all fine. You're waiting for your team to get into good positions. Where the hell are they? Hello? All right. Yeah. So you're waiting for your team to get in good positions. This is all solid. You're ready to drop at any moment. Your team gets kills and you're running through the middle of the map. And this is the question that you were asking earlier. It's like, when do I just run across the middle? 
You found I think a I knew two were dead, so I was like, yeah. I knew the other two were in pipes and nobody had a cross like angle yep. on me, so I knew I could just run through. Yeah, and that was, that was a perfect time. Oh, unlucky. Right. Unlucky the guy spawns glass and you were ready for it. Nice snipe. Perfect. Needs behind the ball guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with this. In your mind, you're so certain that a guy wasn't glass because you got timings on here. Um, there's a little bit of nitpicky where <laughs> you need to hear everything that's happening in the game. And so here, there is a nade that gets thrown at your ball guy right now, and it ends up exploding right behind him. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And so if you're like, if you're cracked right now, it's like you're not shooting cross map with the shock rifle there. You, <laughs> you know, you're helping your ball guy like you did in okay. the blue, the gotcha. blue fight where you're holding that choke point and just like jiggling from the the half wall here. Power items on the field. But saying all that, like, I, I can't blame you for it because like. Uh, you got timings at first. You're like, I'm so certain no one is across there. I'm so certain <laughs> that was the first guy. I get it. Nice. Yep, perfect. Like, you're creating distance in yourselves, for, uh, like, from your opponents in these fights, and it, it looks really good. Yep, perfect. You can move forward here, but, like, you're down a shot. You cannot die here. You just can't die. All right, sure. It's just the triple, isn't it? You're just gonna get it. <laughs> You're just gonna get a, a casual triple. And miss the over. Is he playing on what seventy FOB? What the fuck was that? <laughs> no, I played <thought> hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I make that joke all the time to my teammates. Oh, like they didn't see something. Ah, oh, you should play it on a higher FOB, man. Something like that. Nah, I'm over 80 for sure. Oh, yeah. That's just what you want us to believe. Yep. Alright, so looking back at this one, because we're making jokes. Shot caller. So, uh, random damage is all fine. You know what? You know what? Not bad. That was like perfect timing. The guy re as the guy comes in glass. That'll happen. Yeah, I had like a 50 50 moment where I thought he's either gonna. Well, I guess he could have done three things. I was like thinking he's either gonna drop and challenge me on the stairs and predict I'm gonna go bottom, or he's gonna reach out back up top. Yep. So I just took a gamble, I suppose. Yeah, I think here that you could have played a little bit more. So you are no shield, so this kind of sucks. But I think generally when I'm in this position, I can kind of. Like never get headshot here, if that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> like, like I kind of like I stand on those stairs and I, f I swear like if someone drops front glass they don't headshot me and then if the guy comes up like uh a of stairs like I run down and I don't get headshot and then I turn this okay. corner and then I turn this corner and it's like you do you do your best like this is one of the w the weird situations where it's just like it feels really good when I'm in it that I just know I'm not gonna die for some reason. Gotcha. However, like in general, your play is fun. Like, yeah, yeah, just like pick a pick away and hope that he hope that you live from it. Yeah, absolutely fun. All right, so here, before we get into it, it's like this is the classic situation. Your teammates are all dead. Let's see how you play around the fact that your teammates are coming off spawn. You take your time and you get the sword. I'm sure you're communicating this with your team, of course, right? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> team, don't go. <laughs> no. No, 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 that's perfect. Your teammate died again, so you're taking even more time. This is all really fucking good. Yep, you took a ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, this is all fucking perfect, dude. This is so sick. Like, it's so average, right? But, like, just, like, not like, suiciding. When I, when I look at this, I'm not thinking about it being the perfect play. Like, that's just what I'm doing. But... Yeah. No, like, you don't give yourself credit for the idea that you said, like, you're not fucking it up for your team. It's like, Halo Infinite's a big don't fuck it up for your team game. Gotcha. Because the game just, like, play again, it, it just plays itself out, you know? I'm like, pointed it out, because I didn't realize that that's actually a good thing I'm doing for my team, but, like, yeah. I'm not, like, actively thinking about that. It's just... Yep. So here, so here it's like, okay, like, I didn't, I'm not dying to this guy. He's, he's taking his time and looking at me. Your teammates are making plays off it. And like, sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. But like, if you are able to play like this, where you just don't, you don't fuck up the game again, just unfolds right in front of you. It's like, don't die. And the game becomes unreasonably easy sometimes. And it's like, okay, I guess I got balls to word. Everything's good. They're all just dead. Like what's happening. Okay. <laughs> this is so good. But just like, you didn't do anything.
is like what some people will say, but just like not fucking it up there, not making a mistake there, it, it gets you a full setup. But like if you did die there, the ball just is stuck bottom mid, you guys aren't able to get it out. Like this is that was so bad. Oh, you are lazy as fuck. <laughs> Bro, they have 94 seconds, you have 77 and a round three of an oddball. You cannot be this lazy. Yeah. That's yeah. so much damage. Oh my god, you're in danger. I know. I mean, I, if you could see my pings in this game, I think I pinged Turbine about five times to get that guy in pipes to come back. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, he actually came in. yeah, so for as lazy as this is, uh, you obviously played it extremely well. Uh, again, the better opponents that you are playing here, the more impossible this is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm playing against Renegade or Bound, they're, they're oh, chasing God, me the yeah. fuck down, dude. But... So I, I don't mind you being on this, but you need to get the fuck down as soon as you can. Um, normally, like, yeah, I'll, I would just play, like, around this railing a little bit more. Okay. And just jiggling either side of it. Either, like, if you feel confident, you can be on this side. But uh, if you don't feel confident, you can be on this side. And just, okay, like, yeah. jiggling back and forth. And the second that they come in and you're fucked, you can, like, go out this way. Or if you're if you're on this side, you can instantly drop and, and be full shields down here. Instead of no shields, which you end up being. Yeah, being being one shot here and grenades coming in, oh, it's just uh, such a bad feeling. But I, I, this is I love this spot that you chose. Like this is such a great spot to be. When I was in this spot, I was like, hey, I'm in a behind the trolls video right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I do love that spot. I definitely got featured a couple of times on those vids. <laughs> this is all fine. This is all fine and dandy. There's nothing that you need to do here. You just need to not fuck up. Oh, you fucked up a little bit taking extra damage. Now, the biggest thing here, like, as two seconds pass, as your teammate dies here, you are dropping the fuck down off this box. Like, you cannot not get your shields back here. You have to You have to get your shields back here. Because if you get shields back, they don't have enough damage to kill you and the ball guy. You fuck! Yeah. <laughs> And then you get up close, and I'm sure you like sword him. No, you, oh my god, your teammate just makes a god play. Yeah, my teammate did the most. Really. Yeah, no, your team, your team definitely clutched up, and you played like like reason. This is like a one of those reasonably outside the first round. Uh, one of those reasonably solid games where you like you showed your tendencies that you have that you kind of you, that you do really well that you do poorly. Um, like like I said, this is like the one game I chose because like. Like, I had another one picked, but this is one where I felt like I was making the right plays, but I wasn't, like, there were things just going wrong for me, too. So, like, there's obviously something there yeah. that I wasn't doing right, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, no, uh, you really picked up on the idea of, like, timing your pushes really well. You picked up on, uh, l like, focusing on living your life on a lot of situations. There are just some where you're in a losing position that you didn't really... I'm not sure if it's not that you didn't recognize that you're in a losing situation or haven't really like instilled that mindset in okay. where we are losing. I have to take close range battles only. Like I will shoot people across map once, but the second they even um, think about looking at me, I'm, I'm ducking around the corner that I'm at, you know? Okay. Um, but then, yeah, the biggest thing like macro style that, that will fix your game plan and go up a hundred points right now is, okay. <laughs> you you don't take damage for two seconds you get your shields back every single time okay. <laughs> like every single time like especially that guy dies so you know he's gonna be flying at you like it, it happened probably what five times in this game six times okay. in this game where you just didn't yeah. get your shields back and you died and if you cut out six deaths like in a game like this like that's a lot of deaths but yeah, this is this is a fantastic game to go over. Damn, your teammate okay. clutched the fuck up though. I'm so excited. Yeah, my let's, teammate. Let's go watch that real quick. That round for sure. Yeah, let's go watch that. We gotta we gotta congratulate this guy for this one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going a little slow. Let's go. Peace. Alright, didn't look as impressive as on his point of view, but still, very smart. Oh, oh, that was a lot. It was a 20 minute oh, game. Yeah, it was a lot. I have a lot of notes. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that one, that last one. Just like taking a couple seconds before I like re enter the fight and just trying to make sure I'm not 
being stupid about it, I suppose. It's the easiest way to say it. Yep. So, yeah, so the, the, the stupid, simple down thing is get your shields back. After getting two, like not getting shot for two seconds. Um, I love that you reach held a bunch of times cross map. Like you get shot twice cross map and you instantly reach held because it's not like you're not getting collapsed on. If you take more damage there, you're still not getting collapsed on yet. But you're stopping him from moving up the map and you, you have a good sense of like how to stop them from getting map control and how to like you take fights reasonably well. I think your strafe was a little bit lazy at what, 5 a.m. this game, I'm guessing. Um. <laughs> I think this is my first game this morning. Oh, shit. I, I just hopped on. I was like, I'm going to see if I can't get a better uh, video for review. So this was like my first game on. It was like 100 ping, and it was it was weird. <laughs> yeah, just so one I of those videos. Like I a couple things that like, I was unsure about. So I was like, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm playing well, but there's something there that I'm just not like grasping at, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then as always, like outside of the game, you can really, you know... He, you have the excuse, but you're you're working on it that you just can't be you can't be checked. If you yeah, if you like, like if you, if your if your opponents are checked and you're not like that just gets you like so much rating in this game. Like I I have the issue as well. Like even like I not only do I get checked, but I'm distracted talking to my stream all the time, and uh, so my, like my I have all the excuses in the book as well. Right. Uh. So so I get it, but. As as a player trying to make it right now, you know, I I'm really trying not to get checked. I've been working on like like the mental side of this game a lot lately, because I noticed like as soon as you're tilted, as soon as you start blaming other teammates, things just go downhill much quicker than they should. I guess, mm -hmm. and you're just gonna, I mean, like just being confident in yourself in this game is like half the battle, I think, and just not letting something as poor as like my first round of this game hinder your overall performance yep I'm just like able to move on from it yeah i don't know it's just like that side of the game i guess yeah no i definitely like you can definitely see your attempts at a regain early on oh fuck that was a lot of fun <laughs> no i i love going i love going over these games like people in the the high onyx games like it really makes me think more about the game it's not like i uh, like like sometimes it's hard to put into words that, like the things that I want people to work on, but when watching these games, like I really have to think not like not just about like I can't just like watch the game and be like ah you like you know you, everything's fine like you're you're a high rated player you know what you're doing like I actually have to like think about the right. situations that I I really want you to focus on in these games right. and I'm able to. And I'm, yeah. I'm really glad I had somebody like you look at this because. When I first started getting better, I was able to look back at my own gameplay and go, oh, this is what I'm fucking up. And it's like so obvious. Like, I just need to work on this. But the better I got, the more I started to look at that and go, I have no clue what I'm doing wrong here. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. I can't look over my own gameplay at all. No, uh, I, I can look over somebody else's and be like, oh, you idiot. It's this. It's simple. Yep. And then I look over mine and I go, I have no idea what I'm doing at any given point. Yeah, if, if someone else wants to take the lead, like when we go for film, it's like if someone else wants to look at my point of view and talk to me about what I'm doing wrong, go ahead. But like if you ask me to describe what I'm doing wrong, like I'm just, yeah, exactly. just be like, I suck, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's a, a bad game, you know, like that's that's what's up. No, this is this is fantastic. Awesome. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Yeah, I did not think I would have that many notes, but I do. <laughs> so we do have another 15 minutes if you wanted to go over anything else usually usually like a 12 minute game lasts me like an hour and a half and i just take so long to get through. but that was um, that was just a quick one i mean not really like a specific game but i guess um could we talk about like a map maybe that i yeah. struggle on like i feel like it's a great question as aquarius is like obviously you want to push car side and make sure yep. that like you're trying to the spawn in fridge. I find that I have such a hard time actually doing that and able like being able to hold it. And if I ever get trapped in fridge, I just feel like I can never break out of it. I guess. Okay. So I, I don't I don't know if we got like time for that. And I don't want to take out more. Oh yeah yeah. But it's, it's no, just, like, this is the greatest time to 
to talk like, about there's things. There's been so many games where I'll play Aquarius and the game will either go extremely well or I'll just get absolutely stomped because I'm spawning Fridge and I just cannot seem to break out of it. Interesting. Okay. Um. So we will come up with some situation. We'll, we'll, we'll say this is something like flag. Right. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you see, the Slayer things are much more chaotic, and I mean, yeah, do stuff, but yeah, I can see this. I'm okay, at all right, you're good. So, this is something that'll happen a lot of the times. We'll say you're number four here. Okay, we'll say blue team's coming into the space and they're trying to pull your flag. So, what would you say that you do in this spot as okay, the four so, player? So, typically, I know people love to push the car side and control the car side, and since I'm spawning fridge. I know that like there's a less like a less presence on the P side, but I'm not gonna overextend and start pushing their base because like it doesn't really matter to me that much. Like I, I usually go back into the base and I try to stall out like the flagpole as long as I can. Okay. And I just I just try to milk back there because I'm trying to give my teammates time to like do something while I'm like trying to milk my life, I guess. But a lot of the times it feels like I'll be in my base forever trying to hold the fort i guess and then nothing will happen yeah and then we'll still just get collapsed on um let me see uh here i was trying to find an aquarius game for you to review actually i just couldn't get any good ones yeah i was gonna actually wonder if you had any Oops. let me let me look through your games really quick because this is a great question and i would love to be able to bring up a a game just a, a single situation where this the happens last, the last few games i think like one of them like somebody lagged out and another one it was just like a spawned in 4v3 so it was just i might be able to bring up actually i'm gonna i'm gonna close out a halo because you gotta reopen it yeah that's right um i'm gonna bring up our scrim and see if i can find a situation like this in our in our uh our queries flex this is a great question so i think um, if I were to take a stab at the issue that you have, it's that you're too early. It's the same situation as uh, you're top blue on recharge and you want to you want to go into A or something, right? Um, you have to wait for your team to get in a good position. So you sit top blue and wait there for a long time, and then eventually you go into A, which is something that you've done well in that situation. But I think in this one, you're just going to be too fast. So you're gonna go fridge to flag, and then you're going to fight. You could uh, screen share this. Could you screen share? My screen share is off again. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. Yep. Oh, that's that's weird. All right. There we go. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So I assume that you're going to go P to flag. You're gonna fight this direction. I'm sorry. One more thing. It's just I can see that you're trying to like screen share something, but it's okay. Not yeah. I gotta restart it. Just let me know when it pops up this time. Nope, I, I can just watch it through the stream. Uh, I got. The, I'll do it this this way. It should work. That good? Weirdly, no. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the call. yeah, yeah. Leave the call. Come back. Okay, that was weird. There we go. You see it? Yeah, now I can. We're good. All right. So, what I think is that you go P to flag and you shoot this battle or maybe you even shoot this battle and you're just too early is what i would guess is the biggest this is the biggest culprit is you go into your base and it's like it's my base my teammates are going to follow me up they're going to spawn here and they're going to come back you know this way and, and walk up with me as i walk into the base and things will be okay um however they are currently fucking you <laughs> like if you spawn p and have to go to flag you are in a lot of trouble. You have to take so much time in order to clear this out that what I would recommend is like, you want to let them be here if you have to. Like you have to control this area and wait for your teammates to like set up something like this. Like once it's like this, where you guys are kind of jiggling this door and you guys are able to get into the flag and your P2 guy might be able to like look and your fridge guy is able to clear out everything. Like right. that's how it you want it to look going into it. But what, ha what ends up happening is like your teammate goes out to pee, you go into fridge to flag, and two people come in, 
and you're like okay i took a like i took this battle and i'm one shot and this guy came in and maybe killed me or got the flag out and i'm just like stuck here forever and there's nothing i can right. do that's what it feels like a lot of the time. It feels like I might win that fight in base, but I'm just stuck there and I'm there forever. Yep. It feels like I'm not actually doing anything. Yeah, so the way that I would put it is like you're you're just going too fast. And it's not that you're going into the base too fast. It's like you have this idea on other maps. Uh, probably live fire is very easy for you in this regard. Recharge uh, probably yeah. as well, where you go into a position and it's like, oh, I didn't take any. Like I took one point of damage here. It's like I jiggled. I jiggled from top blue to, to A and I took a point of damage maybe or a top blue to red. And it's like, right. like yeah, when you're, when you're like, you're crossing to here, this guy top car shoots you like once. Uh, but sometimes like you'll just like sit here and you'll fight this guy too too long, like not recognizing that you have to get into the base right. while being full shields. And so, yeah, so, so what, I, what I can only assume is that your gameplay like kind of looks like this where you kind of like, you, you just get in and you're kind of like around this area being a little too overconfident but if you're full being full shields here and them also being full shields is so much better than you being one shot and them being like one shot like kind of weak here as well i think what typically happens in this situation is i'll push into the base and um sometimes they'll push the shroom stairs but more often than not a lot of people like i find just like to walk over the bridge yep um and every time i try to take a fight or do something you got the guy car three just pressuring me and yep. this guy in our base and at that <laughs> point it feels like i don't know what my teammates are doing if they're coming back to base to help me out or if they're gonna go push out b side but it just feels like i'm stuck in this spot for like ever yeah and that'll happen that'll absolutely happen i think that the the biggest thing is that you want to be able to make a move again. And it's, it's really focusing on keeping your shields in this situation. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find a similar spot that we got into on the game. As we scrimmed against someone. Ah, oh, shit. Did I, no, I can go in every game. He doesn't play magic. Maybe. All right. Aquarius CTF. And then I'll stop streaming. I'll pull it back up. Capture the flag. Let me know if you can see that. Yeah. So we'll skip forward a little bit. I'll just zoom through, see if we can find a spot. All right, here we go. This might be it. See a lot of a lot of us dead. Didn't spawn fridge though. Oh, uh, they're capping a the flag. Hold on. Let that happen. Ah, yes, this looks good. Alright, so this is one of the situations where I got out P side. Okay. So this is this is kind of like the same situation on the other end, I guess. Yeah, we capped a flag, we all die in our flag. And so we'll watch this from Nick's point of view. And we'll see if we'll see like how this looks. All right, he just gets fucking pissed on. So, like, <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's see. It's just that, Tyler's that looks spawn. About right. That looks about what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tyler just spawns in the base. He ends up just getting wrecked. All right. So, so here might be. Yeah. This is this is about what usually yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you get into your flag and you're just like not sure what you're going to be able to do here, right? Right. And so, like, the worst thing that he can do is take damage here. Because the second that he takes damage, they're going to feel confident enough to push into the base. Gotcha. And so he turns this corner, and he does a reasonable job. But, like, like I can't blame him for this, but, like, it shows the situation that, like, as soon as he gets, like, as soon as things look bad for him, like, as soon as he takes damage from a, pe from a person that he's never going to be able to kill, I guess he just, like, it doesn't assume that there's two here. As soon as as soon as this goes bad for him, like a third, uh, like something else happens to where he just dies. Right. Like whether a guy tur like a second guy comes out bridge, but he he ends up going down. And I, like this is kind of like this is kind of the same situation that you're looking at in your games where I went pink one, a third guy spawned bridge, and you're just in your flag. And like right. this this is how this is kind of how like I imagine things being in the base. It's like imagine if Tyler just like kept his shields here. Yeah, like a lot of what I do in that situation too is like I tr I'm trying to go like the very passive route in this game. I a lot of times I'll fall back all the way to that pillar that just sits in the back. And yep. I try to milk just as long as I can, just trying to give my teammates some time. Yeah. 
but a lot of the times it just feels like that help never like comes through i suppose yeah and so it's very situational being in the back pillar like you you have to right. ha like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't because it, and it's all based on whether or not your team like your team is strong enough like your team is doing well enough in their in their individual engagements to be able to like you sit back here and you're not going to die versus you sit back here and you're dead because like they're just too strong right now right yeah. um and it's very hard to recognize it i would say in general like i i want to be sitting around here like i want to nade shot but like if i can just like slow them down make sure that my team comes off spawn try not to give them anything for free but as they come up black stairs or as they come in window i'm backing up to here okay um, and if Tyler did that instead and fought, fought the guy for the flag, maybe this goes a little bit different for him. Right. Uh, probably not. I mean, yeah. that's still hard for him. Yeah, no, like, no, this is so hard for him. Like, there's, like, there's real, in my mind, like, if he gets out of that, he's the best player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, sometimes, yeah. And so we'll try and zoom forward and find one more instance of something like this. And I think here is a reasonable... Yeah. What the fuck happened here? So my guy goes up to P2, loses his battle. Guy goes up part 2, loses his battle. And now I'm stuck in the base. This is kind of like, I probably could have been faster. But so here, here's kind of the situation. You're going back to the fridge stairs there. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so here's kind of the situation. Yeah, they're using dynamos, they're getting the flag out. But like, as long as we don't die in the flag, it's it probably isn't too bad. Right. But it looks like, yeah, we're just going to, yeah, this is just... They're really fucking good teams. So it's hard, yeah, exactly. but it, it it showed like my mindset as to, as to how like how you were asked the question, and this is how I would answer. It's like right. this spot is probably the best spot to be because okay. yeah. you end I, up a lot of the, not dying. A lot of the time, here. I'll push out to like where the commando is. Yep. And try to fight the stairs there, but if I like, I'm just back a little bit more ways. Yeah, like, you, on the actual stairs. Yeah, you've got to give your time, your team time to get out. And so like here, I like my teammate dies instantly. And so I'm like I'm still trying to take my time, but they're so pushed up, they're so strong that they they're just such a good team that it, it doesn't work out. I want to see if I can find one more concrete example, and it looks like this might be one because we're just getting pissed on in this game. Nope. Go back to Nick's point of view whenever he spawns. All right. Alright, I mean... Holy shit, alright. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Possibilities, possibilities. Alright, they just both live here. Right, they just both live. Uh, so yeah, here I want him to be on the left side of the wall, because they're pushing right. him from the gen, so he, he does it well. Holy shit, this is all going so well. <laughs> it's the trade, but like... Is Tyler weak here? What's happening? Or not Tyler, is it Tim? Yeah, so he's full shield, so as long as he doesn't die, everything everything will be fine in the base. And so like this is a great Wow, that's so good for my team. <laughs> Holy shit, give him give him some round of applause for this. <laughs> but yeah, look look at where he's positioned before the fight right. starts. Uh right. his teammate dies and he wasn't quite ready for it. He was walking out the challenge, and so everything became a little bit weird, but then he fought right. the battle well. Yeah, so I I think that like that is kind of what answers your question, is like Right. Right. It's definitely giving me a better idea. Yeah. No, because that, that's like, a great I'll, question. I'll die exactly where Rain is, but I'll take the fight there, like from the start of the fight versus yep. like ending it there. Versus, yeah. yeah. And look at that. We like we stop a potential flag cap because of how right. they played that situation differently than how like we might think about playing that situation. Right. Sometimes. Perfect. No, that's that, that's a fantastic question. I'm glad we were able to pull up some examples. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I remembered to ask that question because that's like one of the maps I struck. Like, I think Aquarius is simple to understand, but it's like, I don't know why, I just have a hard time executing it, and it's like that micro stuff where mm -hmm. if I just play a little bit more back towards the fridge stairs, I have a little bit more, like, of a way out. I can, like, delay their push a little bit longer. I can give my teammates more time to set up versus just being, like, five steps forward. Mm -hmm. Like, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. Damn. Well, that wraps it up. <laughs> yeah. That wraps it up. You got a you got another code so we can come back in a week and be like, where are they now? <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this into practice and then we will get another session, I think, and then see if I've actually made any progress. I suppose. Ooh, see if I can yeah. see if I can see it. Hopefully. <laughs> oh God, dude! I, I I dread working. Like I dread like 
getting on it's like ah, oh, i've got a plan for the day but then once i start doing these they're so much fun like i just <laughs> i just love going over games like this oh this was actually great i really wanted like even before you did coaching i was like man if only ryan could look at my game that that guy knows a lot about halo <laughs> yeah. that's great appreciate it appreciate it thanks ryan Enjoy. dude thanks for your solid gameplay to look over here this was yeah, a lot of fun I- I had, a, that, I had yeah. an even better one, but I, I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it, and I'll never let myself live it down. Yep. Is what it is. Sounds good, man. I'm going to go do the giveaway and feel free to enter it for a third. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? You know what? I'll let somebody else win this one. I'll, <laughs> I'll give it away. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good one. All right. Yep. Thanks, Ryan. Later.